Hey guys, Agnerd here. Hope everybody's doing well. Hey, it's a great day here on the uh, here on the farm. And today we're going to talk about chiggers. So what is a chigger? Well, a chigger is a mite, and it's a mite that um, typically resides in the southeast. Um, they typically live on leaves, bla uh, blades of grass, um, brush, trees. Uh, all those different types of areas is where they like to reside. Um, East Texas is um, pretty much kind of considered more of the southeast. It's piney woods. Uh, we get lots of rainfall. rainfall. Uh, so, but the further west you go, not so much. Further west you go in Texas, not so much. Not so much um, chiggers. So this is pretty much a southeastern thing. And so when you come to visit. Uh, our farm when you come to stay in our airbnb the lazy possum our airbnb is called the lazy possum and so when you come to stay here um, we welcome you to tour the farm we uh, we give you uh, an opportunity to walk trails we give you the opportunity for a farm tour we'll get the polaris we'll take you around and um, and so know that that um you're outside in the woods just like anywhere else in the woods you're subject to the wildlife, the insects, and all those different things that are uh, that are out there. So when you're when you're uh, uh, by the cottage, we we maintain the grounds, um, we keep the grass short, and and we we uh, make sure that there's no insects or varmints around. But but when you're walking or hiking, um, know that those that those guys, those little dudes, are out there, and and man, they love to burrow in and. Um, and not burrow, but bite. They love to bite. So what does a chigger do? When you walk by a blade of grass and you rub it uh, with your leg, they're, they're gonna say, oh, there's dinner. And so they will literally jump off the leaf uh, right as you rub it, and they'll jump on you, and they'll get them on your legs, and they'll typically crawl to the base of your leg, to the very top of your leg, and they will start biting you. They will bite you multiple times. When they bite you, they will inject a little enzyme under your skin. Is this enzyme deadly or poisonous? No. Will it irritate your skin? Absolutely. So this enzyme will affect um, some more and some less. It's kind of like wasp. When, um, when I get bit by a wasp, I'm highly allergic. Uh, there's others in my family that are the same way. There's also others in my family that a wasp bite just bothers them a little bit and uh, and they're fine so it's it, it's different with everybody this enzyme will um, will affect others worse and others less so when you're walking in the woods is there some things that you can do to keep the chiggers from getting on you absolutely uh, long pants nobody wants to wear long pants in 95 degrees and 85 degree humidity i get it uh, just good old simple off that has DEET. Spray that on your legs. That has a tremendous effect. It will deter them. You can go to your garden store and just buy some garden sulfur. Put it in a um, put it in a little sock, ball it up at the end of the sock, and tap your legs. Um, and and that's really really about it. You know, don't don't watch where you're stepping. If there's lots of high brush, you know, stay away from it. So you do get bit. What what happens? Uh, you got in that tall brush and it's going to get you. Well, come home or go to your bathroom. Go if you're in, if you're staying here at the Lazy Possum, run, get a shower, get take a hot bath, hot shower. Use um, use lots of soap and water, uh, and and that will deter them. That they will want to evacuate. They will want to leave you. Uh, if you crawl through some of that, you're going to get mites. You're going to get the the chiggers. Um, but, uh, another thing you can do is, is run a hot bath and put bleach in your water. They, they will, they typically don't like bleach, uh, nor does anybody, but that's, uh, those are a couple of things that you can do. So you, you, uh, you got exposed to the chiggers. You, um, you took a hot shower, you, you lathered up with soap real well, but they're still bugging you. You're still feeling the, uh, they're not bugging you anymore, but where they bit you, is irritated and itching. What do you do? Well, you treat that just like you would any any type of um, 
mosquito bites, poison ivy. You're gonna go get some uh, calamine lotion. You're gonna go get some Benadryl. You're gonna get those kinds of things and treat yourself with that. So, uh, hey, I hope that's helpful. Uh, I think I'm gonna make this mandatory uh, for guests to watch this video when they come and visit the, the lazy possum because uh, notoriously I always have someone that goes, there's something wrong, I got bites. Well, it's because you were walking in the woods and uh, there's uh, there's insects in the woods. There's bugs in the woods. I, I, I hate to tell you, but there's bugs in the woods. I hope you enjoy yourself when you come. Um, but just know that there's some, some stuff. We actually have some off uh, in the cottage for you to use. So um, please uh, please grab that off and, and spray yourself when you, uh, when you leave the cottage if you're going to walk the farm. So anyhow, I hope... Uh, Hope if you're watching the video, if you're a subscriber, I hope this helps you when you go camping or you're in the woods. If you're a guest at the uh, at the Lazy Possum, uh, hope that this helps you. There's off there. Not only does it help with the chiggers, but it helps with mosquitoes and fleas and ticks and all those different kinds of things. So, guys, I appreciate you. I hope everybody's doing well. God bless.